That was a scary uh, scene, oh my god. I thought he actually knocked me unconscious and he was going to like rape me and then chop me into 25 pieces and then bury each piece in a separate state and then write 25 letters to 25 governors of each state giving them uh, Bible verses. Oh my god. Smart girl. Let me see, I didn't drink the beverage, but then I got knocked on the back of the head with a baseball bat. Queen of Ropes is for escaping, that's good. The villain always um, gives you the clue you're looking for when he thinks that you're going to die and you're not going to be able to use it. So I'm inclined to believe that this Paco guy is absolutely involved in uh, the murders because it would be too much of a coincidence that, like, uh, she investigated this guy, um, who was like a serial body mutilator while looking for the origami killer, and he ended up being, like, a serial body mutilator, and then he said something about Paco, like, he knew why she was there. And, uh, that has to be true. This, this Paco guy has to be involved. No, I'm at like a junkyard. I have to, uh, I have to see why I'm here. Yeah, he's got triplicane. He probably shouldn't be taking any of that. He's sick, got the strength, hands are shaking. He's going to tell you what. 24 hours. I've got less than 24 hours of my life. I'm going to ask them why. Scrap you Stolen cars. He's looking for the guy who stole the car that was eventually sold to the Oregon killer. Mad Jack, aka Jackson Neville. This guy's got a criminal record of lying my arm. Now the uh, ID card in uh, the uh, ARI system in the evidence section said that uh, Jackson Neville lived in Philadelphia. So. Did uh, Jaden follow him to Philadelphia? Goddamn rain, soaking wet. So Philadelphia must not be very far away from whichever city uh, the game is set in. Maybe the game is set in Philadelphia because that's a very, very rainy city, especially during the fall. It's actually very famous for uh, getting a lot of rain. This is one fucked up sort of place. I'll question that one and get the hell out of here. You said the guy at the contactor, but I don't see anyone Can at the you contactor. Stop that oh. thing? There he was. I just didn't see him. This guy's enormous. Norman Jason, FBI. Can we talk for a minute? I really hope I don't have to fight this guy. Can we go inside? I don't know how fast um, my fingers are and how confident I am in my button presses because I missed a few button presses during the fight with the doctor and I really thought that I blew it. I really thought that I was dead. My heart is still pounding from that. I'm looking for the owner of a blue Chevrolet Malibu 83. I don't give a damn how the car got here, whether you stole it or not. I just want to know who bought it from. Sorry, man. Don't read the bell. I got a real bad memory. Can I just bribe him or something? That's what I would do if I were in the situation. I can help you. Just give him a few Benjis. We find out you sold the car to the man we're looking for. You're looking at some pretty solid time inside. Don't you. threaten him. You try to scam me with your big talk. I never saw your damn car. He's very poetic. You're a good talk. I never saw your damn car. Now take a walk. Okay, so I'm pulling out my RE glasses. I'm a little concerned with whether it's safe to be doing this here. This guy looks a little sketchy. There's footprints on the floor. And why is there blood here? There's traces of blood, too. What are these implements? 
I'm sure these are just for like adjusting lug nuts on cars, right? They're not for like readjusting mm -hmm. bones that aren't Probably broken enough. Jacks. Jackson Neville, also known as Mad Jack. Parents ID unknown in Delaware. Delaware is a very high crime state, by the way, if you're not familiar with the East Coast. Size 10, most likely a visitor. Someone with size 10 shoe prints was here recently. That's probably not gonna help us. Blood group R plus, that's not a blood type. R plus. Nothing over that way. There's a prompt pointing down, what's that? Traces of blue paint. He can see that with his bare eyes. He doesn't even need the uh, glasses to help him detect that. I think this one's new. Barry Cowan. Traces of orchid pollen. Orchid pollen in the air. air. Garage. The origami killer was definitely in here because uh, there's orchid pollen in here. So someone carrying orchids on his person was here to buy a stolen car. Is this just like a fingerprint on the wrench? Nothing happened when I looked at that one. He didn't say anything. It just showed me the wrench and like a blue spot on it. I assumed there was a fingerprint. Uh, Oh, the text said Jackson Neville, so that was just a Mad Jack's fingerprint. Hmm. Not the car I'm looking for. That's tire tracks from a different car. Oh no, that's just removing your glasses. Size 13. Must be Mad Jack size. Mad Jack has size 13 shoes because he has enormous feet. And probably an enormous dick. And an enormous sense of invulnerability because uh, he's not afraid of no stinking detectives. He doesn't care which bureau they're from. Look over here too. Ooh, there's clues galore over here. Not the black car either. Tire tracks from another car. This is a scrapyard after all. A lot of cars are going to be dragged in here. Another wrong car. Oh, so those three clues were all just tire tracks from the same wrong car. There's a clue here in the office. Is that like a coffee thermos? It is, and it has Mad Jack's handprints on it. That's not really much of a clue. The guy who works here was drinking coffee. Maybe Mad Jack actually owns this place. Maybe he sleeps right there on that mattress in the corner. It's probably a violation of a via zoning, because you can't have a residence in a place that's zoned commercial or industrial. Our government has all sorts of laws to tell you how to live your life. Alright, nothing on the TV or the chair. He's got like a Marilyn Monroe poster. Monroe? Monroe? I was never much uh, of one for old movie stars. I don't know how to pronounce her name. I think it's Monroe. Is this wood plank a clue? I'm going to take the glasses off for a second and see in color.
I don't trust this guy. Yeah, well, he is a car thief. Whenever I meet a car thief in real life, I like to just, like, offer him the keys to my car and tell him, like, if he needs to take his kid to Disney World, he can always borrow it for the weekend as long as he promises to bring it back in tip-top shape with a, a full tank. But that's just me. Not everyone is as trusting as I am. And I put the glasses on up here and scan for clues out here. I can scan for clues, but this is a big area. I have no idea where such clues might be. There's nothing over that way. I might, be bark I might be barking up the right tree, but like the wrong angle of the right tree. I'm definitely not barking up the wrong tree. Plus Norman Jaden knows something I don't if he chose to drive all the way out here when like the victim has three hours left to live. I wonder what music he listens to during the commute. I guess I'm going to have to confront Mad Jack. Where are you, Jackie boy? Could I confront you from behind with a tire iron, or would that be unprofessional police work? There's actually no prompts to talk to Mad Jack here. I'm trying to get right up in his grill, but there's nothing he wants to say. A little Chevrolet, man. Not much help, this so-called Mad Jack. He's either clean as a whistle, or else he's got something hot. Yeah, he talks to you like he's clean as a whistle. He's probably a deacon at the local parish. He's probably a Methodist, very conservative. Just looking for a good, wholesome uh, Christian girl to procreate with. Make little Christian babies. Donate his spare time to the soup kitchen. This is a blue car. It doesn't look like a Chevrolet, but I'll scan it. There are clues out here. Not much chance of analyzing anything with this one. Might stand a better chance of finding something in the garage. The glasses must have found something or else they wouldn't have um, pointed it out, right? I guess he's telling me to go back into the garage. Yeah, this one's also impossible to analyze. We've scared, scanned like every single square inch of the garage. We scanned over by the barrels. We scanned over here. Here's something new. It's just someone's blood. Well, just someone's blood. I mean, that's actually a big deal because it means that someone was, someone spilled blood in here recently, but there has to be something else. Maybe we try these barrels in this corner. Here's something new on the desk. It 
it's Mad Jack's fingerprint on this thing. Jaden has no new thoughts. I'm just going to have to keep scanning until I find something. I don't even know what that is. His profile says he's retailing stolen cars. He's an armed man and a dangerous person. Ah, uh, here's a prompt. Oh my god, it's like an acid bath for dissolving dead bodies. Da 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 da. You could have done a better job of hiding that. I need a spare gun in my sock or something. Let's just get you out of sight and finish you off. For some reason, I just don't care about Jaden as much as I care about Ethan and Madison. But I'm still going to try to save them if I can. Dodge. Dodge. This is comical. This is like a cartoon fight so far. I'm less tense than I was during the last fight. Shoot him. Enough fucking around. You're gonna tell me about the man with the blue car. Oh, I need to get the, uh, get the lead before I execute him summarily. I'll break it again if you don't tell me. Mr. CSI. Do you like fireworks, Jack? Because I bet them gas tanks are gonna blow up real nice. Shit, man, don't mess with the gasoline. <laughs> well, just say it was an accident. Or he's not scared of having him uh, shoot him in the head. He's only scared of Jaden blowing the place up. Crazy motherfucker. You out of your mind, man? Well, I don't know nothing about the guy. He wanted me to get rid of his dirty car in a new one with false plates. Okay, so the killer used the car in a crime, and then he had Mad Jack scrap the car to remove the destroy the evidence. That's all I know. We'll continue this discussion down at the station. You're under arrest. You have the right to remain. I know Jaden is going to go to uh, see Paco at the Blue Lagoon because he has a lead there also. So he's going to meet up with Madison, and then they're going to exchange notes and probably show up just in time. Oh, my vision's blurry because I'm in withdrawal. R1? They dope in the FBI now. I have to get the drugs? from this. Alright, look down. Oh, I'm just honking the horn. That's not going to do any good. I have to look. I'm just jerking my hands. That's not going to do any good. The horn is not going to do any good. What the fuck? Turn your head, man. Turn your head and look for other stuff. There we go. Open 
in the glove compartment, get the gun. Awesome. My hands are still handcuffed to the wheel though. I need to break the handcuffs somehow. What am I gonna do with this gun? I press triangle. I won. What the fuck? Was I too slow? No, no, up. I can crawl out. I broke the window somehow. I didn't even see Jaden break the window. He was way ahead of me. Crawl out, man. Up. Oh no, I missed that one. He's okay, he's on his feet. Oh my god. Smack him. Oh, other way, wrong button. Oh, he slipped. Get up, man. I missed with the brick. There was my chance to clock him in the head real good. Shake yourself free, man. Come on, mash it, mash it, mash it, mash it, mash it. Faster, faster, faster. Whoosh! Right in the chest. This guy's built like a ton of bricks. Fuck. Get out of the way of that thing. Square. Free yourself, man. Get a hold of yourself. Got his foot. guy's so strong. I'm passing all the trials and all I'm doing is like just staying alive. I'm never getting the upper hand. Oh, his shirt is caught in the, the treadmill, the, uh, ugh, the tread. Now he's gonna get like bulldozed. Awesome. was intense. There was no way that Jaden could do any injury to Mad Jack unless he shot him with the gun. I was thinking Jaden was going to actually like grab a hold of the gun and just fire, you know, three bullets through the chest and then one in the head and be like, and then stand over him and be like, Psh. 